We first met Chris Hood back in 2019 when he was arrested in East Boston for distributing racist flyers. And since then, there have been several other offenses, but this one could hit him in the wallet. Tonight, some of the individuals in these photos facing civil rights violations. The masked men hanging signs at an overpass in Portsmouth reading, Keep New England White. They participated in a trespass on Portsmouth property. That action was motivated by race. New Hampshire's Attorney General announcing the civil actions today against the Nationalist Social Club, or NSC 131, and its founder, Christopher Hood, and member, Anthony Cullinan. Hood has been arrested several times for similar issues in the past. Now he and the group could face $15,000 in fines. Hate, intimidation, and divisiveness are simply not part of the fabric of this great city of Portsmouth. But it's not just Portsmouth. The self-proclaimed white fraternity threw hateful flyers in driveways on the North Shore, hung signs in Saugus saying Jews did 9-11. And protested a drag queen story hour in Jamaica Plain with both supporters and protesters clashing. It's sort of a, a cheap shot. It's an easy trick for them without any accountability. The Anti Defamation League glad there is accountability in this case. Their data show these situations are rising both in frequency and with boldness. I think what is important is that our government is able to send a message to the the citizens who are being impacted that this type of hate um, gets a consequence. Now, the attorney general in New Hampshire says the First Amendment protects certain activity, even when those activities may be repulsive to the vast majority. But he says in this case, there was a violation of the Civil Rights Act. In the newsroom, I'm Peter Eliopoulos, WCVB News Center 5.